right and add mitt where is she there we joan hello Hurts. how are you doing it's so nice to see you good this is kind of fun seeing each other at our workplaces where are you you're, you're not at home i'm at no obviously excuse me look at look at the ceilings i beg your pardon Mm. And it's the end of realtor hot realtor summer, um, which what, me and I'm, Lady. What is I'm not aware of. What is hot realtor summer? Darn it! I thought it would take off, and it just didn't. You haven't even heard of that? Not no, I haven't. I haven't. This is I this is. Uh, you? I guess this is a, 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 an invention of your own. Uh yes, yes, it is. Right. Well, me and the gals at the uh, at the uh, at my company, um, we um, did. No, I, did I tell you I started my own company? No, you certainly did not, Joan. And I feel like it's that's a huge hot realtor, hot realtor summer company. It's called Hot Realtor Summer Company. Yes. Okay. How about this, I've done. I've had ads on on the benches, and I've had ad. ad I put an ad downtown. I have um that electronic marquee yes. that I bought outside the library. Now here's what here's what I think happened is okay. that I have seen those. Of course, they're ubiquitous oh. in Dignity oh, Falls. Here. Okay. But I didn't recognize it as you because of the sunglasses, the sun hat, right. and the huge tropical drink in front of your face. You know what? That was a mistake. I now realize that we were really obscured, uh, yeah. you know, with all of that. And you couldn't yeah. tell us apart and you couldn't even tell who we were. One of the and gals was buried up to her neck in the sand. She was. And I thought it was a hilarious joke. And then, but then also we, she kind of got stuck and it was like yeah. a whole thing. I think the, the grimace on her face kind of made her uh, unrecognizable to me. You know what? Leslie just, she seems to have a hard time with it. was her. Leslie. Perfectly, okay. Perfectly All honest. Right. You know what I mean? But, oh, uh, one second. Yeah, it, it was, it was Leslie Herb. That's oh. uh, Herb. He's working on something back there and he's being very oh, careful. Oh. He's, building, he's building a ship in a bottle. So uh, he's, that's why he's so still. So uh, it's so good to see you. And I love seeing you in your coat. Well, thank you. Yes, here we go. Burnt, burnt. Now does me, every- burnt, I can't do the weather head <laughs> thing where you have to go backwards. Funny. But burnt like, me a payday. Of course, CVS, very CVS? proud. Yes. yes. Um, now does everyone there, every pharmacist have their own embroidered personal jacket? You know, Joe, you know, Joan, some, some don't do it. What? Like it's, it's, it's an is accepted like, thing. Is this taboo? Is that why you checked to see if anyone was listening? It's sort of, it's a new movement in uh pharmacy emblazonment. Well, there's a lot of the, a lot of the, the like, newer like pharmacists. Like hot realtor summer. Joan, company? I beg you to keep your voice down. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a tar Some of the newer pharmacists feel like that's only for doctors to have your name on the lab coat. Well, I would tend to agree with them, but to be honest, seeing you in that jacket is so fabulous that I think everyone should have it. It looks fantastic well, on you. You, you need and to. And I might say, I might say, I, I, I would tend to agree with it just because of my own prejudice, with just sort of thinking that you know, doc, doctors and, and pharmacists are separate. But right. you know what you do uh, is so important. That's right. Uh, and uh, you know, I would argue just as as important uh, as as, as would I. So, so why wouldn't you have your own jacket? Well, this is how I feel. And I, and, 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 and I feel that uh, a pharmacist is someone that you have to trust. And one of the things that makes you trustworthy, I think, is if you're saying, here's my full name and it's permanent, it's permanent on there. I can't, oh, yes. I can't, oh, you I know. Thought you meant that, I thought you meant that you had to have trust as a patient when you approach the pharmacist because you're saying your full name. And I was going to say, I don't trust him because I have to give him my full birthday. That's the vulnerable. <laughs> because name. of your, the vanity of age. Because um, I'm old. Yeah. So, uh, 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 Joe, but, but yeah, it's fun. It's fun to be doing this and it's fun to, I hope that house, uh, sells that you're in there and you can get back to your, uh, your, uh, much more, uh, luxurious home with all its various the rooms. The modern thing isn't for me. You know, there's no, I have been here for only like two hours and I have heard not less than five. I'm going to say squirrel or, or probably not raccoons cause they're sleeping, but I've right. heard fights or rats hmm. and you know there's no when in these older 60s models there's no there's no insulation there's no attic i don't know what someone's thinking buying this house it's yeah. just a, a money pit yeah uh, because it, it kills you in the summer uh hmm. with, with the with the air conditioning and it right. kills you in the heat with yeah. no insulation absolutely and these squirrels it sounds it sounds like roman soldiers run across the roof it is terrifying you don't think this place is haunted do you 
did. Oh God, no. I, I Listen, I can tell almost, I can tell within a second when I come into a new property, if it's haunted or not. Okay. What are the dead giveaways? I already did my ghost protocol and I didn't think this. You have ghost protocols. Oh, I did not absolutely, realize that. Absolutely. What are, what are the ghost protocols? Welcome them. Introduce right. yourself immediately. Okay. okay. If anything happens, the second you announce your presence, uh, it, 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 then it's haunted. It, I don't there even care if it is if it could be a light flickering it could be a how uh, the sound of a of like a creek or something yeah. like that. yeah rip the water i don't care right they are letting themselves know do you know what i mean they're making right. their presence aware right uh the second is i sing nobody uh i sing uh, don't rain on my parade full voice full bell okay all right it's a secondary test right if i don't hear anything i don't trust it okay right, right. so a, a spirit is going to is going to acknowledge Mm. Uh, uh, musical theater mm. they just they're honestly there's such a crossover if there um, is a spirit present then the singing it tends to calm them the energy just it's almost like saging uh but instead it's belting okay so th but this is even for uh, uh, a phalanx of, of roman soldiers who have never heard musical theater before and have somehow transported themselves from uh, rome to dignity falls and they find themselves in this home like what are we doing here um, and, 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 and they don't know anything from, uh, 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 what's that one from, uh, don't rain on my parade. Is it from parade? Oh, is it from her, singing in the rain? Musical theater lovers will find that very funny. It's very different from funny girl, which is what don't rain on my parade is okay. from. All right. You were there at my Barbara night a couple of years ago. We we where we just strung together five hours worth of the greatest. Absolutely, Barbara yes. Movies, except yes. For we did all of Yentl. We did all of all Yentl. of Yentl in its entirety. Yes, and I remember uh, because you did do Yentl in its entirety, but not all the Yentl songs in a row. Um, that yes. I remember being in the audience and being able to say, "I bet that's a Yentl." Right. And by the way, I didn't think that the Roman soldiers, uh, it's just what the squirrels sounded like. I'll tell you what, if there was a ph phalanx, did you say? Yes, uh, I tried Roman to. Soldiers, I would not be trying to kick them out of the house. You know what I'm saying? For sexual not purposes. Right. For sexual phantasmic purposes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then number three is have a drink. I mean, that's okay. just, I'm not sure that has anything to do with ghosts, really. Right. It's just how I like to start my time in the house. Right. But Joan, uh, let's get down to uh, business because we do have uh, we do have to schedule. We're we're starting season five of the Neighborhood Listen, our uh, 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 local podcast, which uh, I think has reached other people, and we're getting ready to do a live uh, our second ever live show. We are yes, and so uh, let's we need to nail down that date because the uh, the people are are asking. I would I would think this is something for Doug to do, but uh, uh, it appears not. Uh, like, what about like the 21st? The 21st of September is 2023. Well, I was trying to thank you. I, I, I try to oh, force you have a little device that it, you use in your head. To well, figure out what day it is? I just remember from my trick is I remember from 1900 on. Whoa. When, okay. So here we go, Bern. What day was August 4th in 1932? Okay. Let's see. Oh wow, it's amazing. I I, I I I honestly I'm worried about the time because it does take a very long time. Oh, it takes time. Oh, how long yes, will it? Because I have to start at 1900. Well, you start at 1900. And then well, I'm gone about 1902. I apologize. Yes, I go through the entire year and then I get you know and then I proceed from there. Is this how you schedule everything? It, 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 the, for the past month, this is how I've been doing it, and I'm realizing oh. now that it's not very efficient. And uh -huh. perhaps I should just look at the calendar and hey. admit defeat. So that's a Thursday, uh, yeah. and that that's fine for me. I'm free. I I I I I I certainly have nothing going on. You know, that night I will not go out on my patrol um, and uh, oh, try to prevent crimes. Try to prevent uh, crimes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I will. I will be well, able maybe to. Maybe at the live show, you'll be there in case there's a crime there. You you never know. Joan, that's a real lemons into lemonade way of thinking about it. And thank you very much. And I, I don't hope that there's a crime at our live show, but if there is, oh, I'm glad that I'm there. So am I. But hold on. If we weren't there, the crime wouldn't be taking place in the first place. So now I feel like we're, we're responsible for the crime. Well, if we weren't there to do our show, I think that would have been the crime. You know what I'm <laughs> Joan, saying? That's, 
You know what I'm saying? The show must go on. Listen, so, the only reason I am, by the way, saying the 21st is because yes. Doug joined an adult t-ball uh, group. So that is the only night that he doesn't have practice. He is loving it. I think it's great for him. It's nostalgic, but also it doesn't make any of the older guys feel, um, you know, inadequate or they can't, their knees don't work so good anymore. Everyone right. hits the ball. Everyone wins. Right. And they have orange slices and juice afterwards. Yeah. It's surprising to me they need to practice. <laughs> so sure it's practice as much it is as it is the hang you know what i mean right yeah right well so, and good I, for you know what you know that and i know that but i still say you know is my eye doing something weird it is doing something weird okay did you want that to happen or it did not it would probably look like i was trying to wink but no something's going it on i have to get it checked out all right Ugh, i think i'm allergic to this mid-century house anyways what what, let's just, before we go, I didn't really get to see you a whole lot this summer. I just want to know what you did this summer. Did you take any trips? Uh, no, I didn't go anywhere. I barely left my apartment. And uh, I mostly, like I mostly just a bit, sort of a meditative uh, state uh, oh. this summer, you know, which was, good, which was good for me. A healthy meditative state? Yes, I, I wasn't aware there was a bad one where, <laughs> where you could meditate and then come out the other side of it. I must kill. Sometimes you stay inside kind of a long time burnt. And then True. I know sometimes you get a little dark. That's all I meant. Yes. Well, I, you know, I won't be, I, I, I won't be dark as long as I'm not completely alone. And that, that reminds me, somebody wants to say hi. Oh, oh. Hey, bring your, bring your child to work day. And of course I do not have children by choice. And uh, here is the closest thing I have. Of course it's Connie. It's Connie. Hi, 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 Joan. He seems to say. Now, listen, you know, I love Connie and I'm yes. aware and familiar with what he looks like because he's been through it. Hi, Connie. Now I'm familiar with how he looks, but there's a lot yes. of children. How did children reacting to him? You know, they kind of, they're kind of making fun of him. And it's almost like he's the runt of the litter and, and the kids are bullying him, even though oh. he is an inanimate object and, okay. and quite frankly, has suffered enough, I think. But, uh, but you know what? It's the kids are enjoying it. And they're, they're, it, I think it keeps them from bullying an actual child, which I think is a net positive. Last thing, last thing on our agenda, Joan, we do have to pick a theater for the live show. Oh, um, well, we, we, we could just do it where we did it last time. I absolutely love that theater. Do you remember Dynasty Typewriter? Dynasty Typewriter, yes. Uh, why don't we tell them that we're going to do it and, uh, and sort, of, sort of say it like uh, they don't have a choice in the matter. That's, this is what I've learned. I read a page of uh, The Art of War. So we'll just tell them, look, here's how it's going to be. We're doing a show, uh, and it's going to be 7.30 p.m. on Thursday, September 21st. And you're going to live stream it. You're going to put cameras on it. And so people can go in person, or they watch from their own homes. And we won't take no for an answer. I mean, Bert, I have to be very honest and say that this tone is bringing up a lot for me, but not all of it negative. But it does seem as Not all of it negative. <laughs> My only concern is that this already seems like you really were expecting a huge amount of pushback and a fight. And I'm not sure that they're actually that aggressive. I think they're, I remember them being pretty chill, if uh, if I can say that. The, the right. vibe, the vibe right. was chill. It was chill. It was chill. Um, all right. Uh, noted. I, I take that note. And uh, I will I will do uh, a little bit of punch up on my email and uh, and make it a little friendlier. <laughs> always punch up never punch down in an email just remember that okay okay so punch down is make it worse don't don't again again just try just soften it just just soften, even it soften. Out. absolutely no, no 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 nothing combative nothing combative know? nothing right. roman soldier like right we're not i'm a, not in a phalanx we're not in a phalanx boy that is a great that is a great term well, i thought i knew how to it. say it and now i'm really doubting myself I'm saying the book. I yeah. think you said it perfectly. Phalanx? Phalanx. Phalanx. That sounds a little too Southern. Oh, he's over there to the phalanx. He, he wants to serve the emperor. No flies on him. All right, Joan, we've, I, my break is almost over. Um, so uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, just to put it in your calendar, Thursday, September 21st, uh, Dynasty Typewriter, 7.30 p.m., which would be Pacific time, and yes. uh, it's going to be live and live streamed. Uh, yes, and right. uh, so, you know, please come or or tune in uh, from the comfort of your own home. Right. And Bert, I just want to ask you, what, what uh, just a quiz for a pharmacist, just, you know, without, almost without looking, 
or mm. just looking in, in, in your screen, okay. what kind of drug is the, is the green boxes? Green boxes with a white top. You see, there's like three green boxes. Oh yeah, Abs yes, absolutely. Uh, those are uh, anti-Viagra pills. Oh. So if you've taken Viagra and you don't need it, um, uh -huh. it's a real problem. It and uh, yeah, and and uh, so these pills uh, uh, do exactly what you would think they would do. Um, but if you don't need if you don't need them, don't take them because they will do that almost too well. And then you'll have a you'll have a different problem. So the point wow. is, don't take drugs unless you need to take the drugs or yeah. unless recreationally. And what's um, the name? Okay. Of it? Hmm? What's the name? It's Ar Arigva. <laughs> Arigva. Yes. Well, it kind of sounds triumphant. It does. Well, that's that's how we want people to feel when they take it, when they have this problem, which is a sort of uh, medically induced uh, preopism that they uh, they take the pill and then it goes away and they say, Arigva, I've done it. All right, that's enough pill talk. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yes, let's. So, so, so Thursday, September twenty first, seven thirty p.m. Uh, Pacific, uh, live and uh, a live stream and tickets. I, I would presume will be available. Avail available. I almost said Bob Balaban by accident, but I presume that tickets will be available at DinosaurTypeWriter.com. <laughs> yes, you know, if you say it three times, he appears. So we're at Ooh, two. No, 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 no. I knock, knock. Who's there? Your neighbor. Good.